bait. It's the only way the Shaolin can get through this. Two or four. It's a lazy swing from Ian Bradshaw. It's all about a bit of tension in the middle right now. And Shaw Langerfeld has done an outstanding job by picking up the eighth wicket. Excellent bowling by Shaw Langerfeld. Full delivery. Bradshaw guilty of playing across the line. Straight in at Midland, Midland off. Hitting leg. Bradshaw playing straight across that one. Didn't play anywhere near it. Not a shot that was needed at this point. Ian Bradshaw goes for one. West Indies 283 for it. Well, if you thought there was tension before, check out some of these shots. No smiles at all. Now they thought they were home and hosed, I reckon. I'm surprised she's still got some fingernails. There'll be a couple of vet beverages that will suddenly be uh, emptied in the stands, I would imagine. As the tension mounts, advice coming left, right, and centre. And now it's the real tail enders in the middle for the West Indies. Bravo is giving advice on the non striker's end. He won't need too much advice, I'm sure. But he's getting plenty. Powell yet to score a run. There's the dismissal of Bradshaw. Just hitting across the line. So the West Indies need two from three balls, and they've got two wickets in hand, and Darren Powell is on strike. Graham Smith has just had a chat in the batsman of the non-strikers in, which is Bravo, and said, I'm giving you a warning now for backing up. So don't try and scamper out of that crease. Goodness me. Unbelievable stuff here in Barbados. Powell on strike. Langerfeld again. Got him! Got him! Brilliant stuff from Shaw Langerfeld. Two wickets and two balls. West Indies have lost their ninth wicket now. Powell disappears back to the change room. Remember, it's all about the West Indies staying alive in this series and South Africa winning the series if they get up in this game. Brilliant stuff from Langerfeld. And it continues. Straight on the stumps, Darren Powell just having a wild swing at that. And, get, and being bold. I really can't believe that when he came out and spoke to Dwayne Bravo, as he goes for North, 283 for nine, that Bravo could have told him to play that shot. He's not smiling now, Tino Best. He has been the whole game. He hasn't smiled once. Neither she. There's been a few smiles from the South Africans, only at the fall of the wickets, though. They'll be tense now. same time as a matter of interest, South Africa's score was 278 for six. So a couple of boundaries towards the end helped their cause. Another look at the uh, wicket reverse swing. Hoving in towards uh, middle stump about three quarters of the way up and they are astounded. They can't believe it. West Indies need two from two and they've got one wicket in hand. Two runs from two balls. Shao Langerford is also on a hat-trick, just to add something else into the equation. Corey Collymore on strike. And he's got a hat-trick, I'm sure. That's out, he's got it. There it is, South Africa have won the match. They've won the series as well. Shao Langerford has been absolutely sensational. The celebrations have begun. They'll go on for hours and hours, maybe even days from the South Africans. The West Indians are absolutely distraught. It is a hat-trick for Shao Langerford. What an amazing finish. Amazing is not the word. Three wickets and three balls for Karl Langerfeld. 
South Africa by one run. They won the Test Series at this ground. They've won the one-day series now in Barbados. The fans are absolutely shocked by what they've just witnessed. The last five deliveries of the match, two runs and then three wickets in a row. Shivran Chanapur will be distraught right now. Western is all out for 283. What a classic one-day international. A classic dramatic claps by the West Indies. Charles Langerfell, the hero, five for 62, and he ended up with including a hat trick in that final over. South Africa winning by one run. Next up, we'll have a modern day West Indies run chase. Hopefully, it'll be just as exciting.